Hey, what's up guys? Tan Tan here and welcome back to my channel. So, yeah, I'm back with the final part, part 2 of the, my entire studio series, of the World Collection. So, yeah, let's begin. So, to begin with this one, let's start with the number 45. This is the Drift Helicopter board. So, yeah, Drift is an interesting case of triple changer. So, they decide to make him individual figures instead of having a triple chain thing. And I mean that is uh, probably a better idea because it's gonna increase the sales and gonna give you a better toys. Because like the problem with this live action figures, it is really hard to give them a decent triple change figures. So we have Drift and as you can see because he's now a helicopter so he's a lot more slicker than his counterpart which is the Studio Series number 36 and he's in blue now. This is obviously the Age of Extinction look and you got some missiles which is really interesting and the two four blades, the standard four blades. But in now the two smaller ones are made to be rotated, so cannot be removed. So it only comes with this two huge blade over here. I mean, this is essentially still a nice figure, and I would still recommend it. So yeah, moving on. So next one is the Studio Series number forty-nine. This is Bumblebee. This guy right here is the uh, 07 movie configuration, and this guy, which is an exact re remote, but then name as a brand of Buzz Woody Bumblebee, like I as I recall, is the same figure. But this is the Revenge of the Fallen, and he came with a same with Wiki. And judging from his outfit, this is the same figures that come with the All Spark of the Masterpiece versions, and this is the 07. So this well, same will go. So this be right here. And I mean, this is essentially the best Studio Series Bumblebee figures in my opinion. You got such, so many great things, and it got a huge improvement from the first. Is that the pocketing arms? Just look at this. From even from this angle, it's really. Oh, sorry, my bad. B. But from this angle, this is really broken. But you can do this actually. So just yeah, it just so looks so fantastic, and the way to attach the gun is more simple yet better. So this is actually a separate piece, and so you just gonna plug that in like that and you got a really lengthened arm gun and in my opinion this is probably for the best I absolutely adore this figures and yeah I really hope for a Dark of the Moon version is coming soon but please this time give him a normal face without the mask please next up on the list is the number 50 and which is also the abomination of the mode i already hate this is world war 2 hot rod the same thing inaccurate movie outfit mode boring mode bad articulation prefix it huge backpack why do i even want this guy the only nice thing about this guy is his gun i enjoyed this thompson read this is like a reverse thompson thing situation over here so actually if i'm gonna put him if he can hold it like this then he actually uh, looking like he's holding wielding a thompson yeah, but that, I mean like this is the only nice thing of this figure is the gun. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I bought this figure because of the gun. I enjoy this design a lot. So yeah, this is quite strange. When I take him out of the shelf and did this video, this is like the only time I touched him since I reviewed this guy back in 2019, I think. Next up on the list, we got the RC Twins or should I say Triplet from Revenge of the Fallen. I mean like, this is a really accurate in size, but I gotta say, the first time I handled them in hand, I was like, what is this bunch of plastic? And yeah, they're nice and they have this cool combining mechanism and I enjoy it. And you got a bunch of spare parts all for the combining. And I have made a separate video of how to combine these three. So yeah, be sure to check that out. So that is RC and they're really nice. And when they combine, it, they looks kind of cool though. The next one on my list is the number 57, the off-road Bumblebee from the movie Bumblebee. I mean, this is a Bumblebee figure that I want for that movie. I mean, look at, look at him. They got really nice proportion, a good face paint, face app, all about logos, clean backpack, and the accessories. These are great figures. And upon them, there will be two other figures that come out with the same mechanism. And that is so, that is really nice. You know, one is a good figure if they are reusing it more than one time. Look at that side wipe siege mode. Oh my god. So yeah, here we have Bumblebee. He looks really nice and yeah, he looks really cool as well. I enjoy this mode of him. I enjoy his fake chest and he got the real chest. Fake chest and everything. He just he just looks cool and nice. And I'm glad that I got this figure. Because back in the day I wasn't playing on on getting this guy though. So yeah, it was a good thing that I changed my mind. Next up is the 58 Root Buster. I mean like, I like this guy. He's a great character, but like, the, he got some major problems. So I got this guy back in like, I don't remember if I recall correctly, by the end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020. And so this guy, he is 
a nice design got a lot of paint look at those beautiful silver paint I got a lot of detail as well but then the problem with him is that he likes accessories so like the only things came out with a wrecker I mean like a wrecker is this small piece of cutie thing and he got a huge backpack oh my god just look at that backpack and I'm gonna compare him to my the next one is really nice the next one is the top spin top spin is a really nice figure he got a ton of accessories even their rubber though he got guns guns claw sub arms and stuff and this the backpack is really neat so yeah i don't understand why this is happening gosh when i put these two guys together i kind of like i want left foot so i'm definitely gonna try to try to get him but besides that this guys is nice together but you gotta get left foot i think that is that cheerleader effect from how i met your mother you know when they look when you look at them as a bunch they looks way better than if you're looking at them individually so yeah that is interesting moving on Next one is the Studio Series number 61, Sentinel Prime. And I must say, this is still one of my best Studio Series figures so far. You got arena, a lot of paint apps, some beautiful shiny red, beautiful face sculpt, a really masterpiece alike transformation sequences. And so the only down thing of this guy will be the accessories. Just look at this, this is the blade. It's just kind of, you know. <laughs> But lucky for us, we got DNA to fix all that problem and I think in the future, I'm still waiting for also if anyone at, at like Wei Zhang or Black Mamba listening at this, please make a KO of this guy so I can purchase him and set him next to my Optimus Prime. That could look really nice. So I mean like this guy is already a great figure so just by improving his accessories, you can clearly get a lot more things upon him. So definitely get this guy if you got a chance. Definitely, this is a must have right here. And so yeah, the Wikipedia when I research for the numbers because sorry I don't remember the numbers of my figures. So they mark this guy as a Decepticon. But yeah, I mean screw that, he's still an Autobot to me. So the next one we have is a combo of 64 and 70. We have the Cliff Jumpers, Cybertronian and B127. So these two guys here are essentially the remodel of the off-road Bumblebee. But the bad things about this guy is that they got a bigger backpack. And the reason for that is really straightforward. So you see, because of the off-road Bumblebee was based on a Jeep, it doesn't have any room. So as a result, yeah, it kind of clean up the backpack but this two guy right here they got a sport Cybertronian sport car out in it so yeah they suffer from bike cable a little bit but other than that they are really nice figure me personally like in all my reviews I have said I prefer B127 more than Cliff Jumper because of all the color scheme are really much better and yeah even this one is better than the old the Volkswagen Beetle Bumblebee but yeah I mean like this guy are nice I enjoy having this guy in my collection but like one thing like I have said in my B127 review uh, I kind of wish he come with a dual machine guns in his alternate mode rather than this guy right here but I guess that is because of all the packaging and the remoting and for convenience issues so yeah I mean they're still great though next one on the list and that is my final line that is this this is the latest live action Transformers Studio Series figures of the Autobot this is the number 71 Dino from Dark of the Moon. Yeah, and I have I have said so many times upon my review of this guy. At first, when I saw him, I thought I would hit him, but in fact, he's one of the best Studio Series figures, and he pairs perfectly with Size Y. I mean, they are so nice in another. And like, I thought I could hit him, but yeah, I'm not. And so, thus he can do some with he can be improved by some aspect, but. Overall, this is still very really worth it figures for you to purchase, and I would still highly recommend this guy. I mean, like, he's a really nice figure. And when, if you do get a chance to handle him, I really hope that you would find as much fun playing around with him like I did, because this guy's a truly pre pleasure to play with. I mean, like, I, I adore the way that they hide all this back inside this fake torso, and that just looked really nice to me. And I love the feet. I love like, for some reason I love strange alien feet. I wish like he he could be standing like this. I I saw I, I I don't know. I just enjoy like strange alien feet like this. He's a great figure, so definitely get this guy for sure. So for the Studio Series 86, we all know that they are a bunch of G1 retool because they did not appear in Kingdom, so they are Siege or Earthrise, so they just need to make some Studio Series out of it to say that yeah, we complete your G1 line in a modern way. So first candidate, here we have Studio Series 86, Deluxe Class Jazz. So he's an okay figure. I mean like he's a standard G1 Deluxe Class, I mean like put some holes in him and he will become a Siege. So for this guy, me personally, I don't see any Studio Series aspect of this guy whatsoever but i still love him though he's a great interpretation interpretation of the characters 
and yeah he is a slick and nicely built with a lot of surface detail which should be great for panel lining i have said that i have said that i would panel line this guy when i made the video but yeah i'm too lazy for that i'm sorry and the backpack is minimum yeah that is really nice and yeah at least you can do something get some swap and storage this still give you the holes you know so yeah he's a great guy and if you are looking for a complete your g1 cast in the modern toys today we should grab this guy next one the, of the 86 line this cup one of my first 86 figures i mean he's a great modern influence take on character itself but i like i've said the face is kind of too old for my taste and his accessories are basic so you got a standard pistol which is okay for that but the cool thing is that you got this amazing energon bar that is really nice i absolutely like this of him i really do and one nice thing about him is that you got that this you can remove his arm and leg to complete that face where he got ripped off about everything so yeah this guy is cool this guy is decent and really like to me he's a great choice that i only purchased because i want to complete the line because like here's the thing <clears throat> i don't exactly grow up with g1 so yeah but like when i got him he i mean like the figure got me interested and i actually started watching g1 in the movies and i find him quite charming great work guys moving on <laughs> The next one on the list, which is I consider the best Studio C figure so far, is the 86 Hot Rock. Gosh, I love this guy. Remember when I got him and like you all went crazy for him? Yeah, because he was really nice. Look at that clean, slick transformation. And yeah, he's a Voyager class on the size of a slightly taller Deluxe class. The transformation is neat and keyboardless. Hardly see any keyboards on this guy for sure. And what nice thing, a nice thing on him is that he came with a tons of accessories. And yeah, this is all the accessories here. Oh my gosh, just screw that up, just slide down a little bit, buddy. You got his two gun, his saw, his a beam effect part, and the most impressive one, you got a matrix of leadership. So, yeah, and you got this really nice effect part as well. Yeah, you got the touch moment. You got the power. Yeah, and like this guy's really nice. And you got a, a, like a tons of features, so like this is this is really nice they, they 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 didn't have to do it but they did which is a nice thing and you can swap out all the stuff oh, damn it Why I... oh there we go this is somewhat hard to review so let's switch this out like that and just like that you can plug his saw onto him which is really cool Bro, this is way too tight for my memory. But yeah, I mean, like, this is the best figure in, of the Surya line so far. I absolutely I enjoy him. And I would highly recommend you definitely get this guy. And what, seeing this guy, handling this guy, I cannot wait for the next Commander class from Kingdom, which is the Rodimus Prime. I'm so excited. And the final figures in my Autobot Studio Series collection is the NS86. Grimlock, I love Grimlock as a character, but I mean like this interpretation is really not worth it to be called Studio Series. Of course, you still got a bunch of details, everything is nice, and the transformation is movie accurate, and you got a Willy sitting on top of his shoulder. But despite from that, there's nothing I would like about this figure. I mean like the transformations that are way too easy for a leader class. Accessory is limited, you got a blaster and Willy, and to be honest, we don't need Willy that much. I would prefer if they're gonna give him like his sword or something else other than that i think this is a great kingdom or uh, siege figure but talking about studio series quality i would have to disagree i don't think that he is he deserves a studio series this is a studio series figures i refuse to believe in that so yeah that is quite frustrating for the last figure in our videos right so yeah that sums up the list of all my autobots and in studio series form I think that if I got the time, I'm gonna make another clip for solely Decepticons figures. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it if you want to. So by the way, tell me what you think about my collection in the comment section below. And if you are new to the channel, and subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. That is where I do most of my updates. And if you feel like you can help me out with some future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee. Link will be in the description below. Hold on out.